Hello and welcome, this is Tony of Tony's Music YouTube channel. I'm going to do a tutorial on a logo and show you what the problem uh, one of my members had with it and how to resolve that problem. Right, so first of all we're on Affinity Designer and I'm going to do a new document in landscape 190 by 108 CP and make sure it's transparent transparent background selected and then create that then I'm going to go over to my pictures or image finder and then look for the image it's down here that's the actual logo that's the image that we want to sort out as you can see it has a white background on it so if you wanted to try and put a border on it so that it's on the actual lettering you can't because what will happen is when you put your colour on so put a light blue on then we put a stroke on it just do that and then it'll go around the actual rectangular shape itself rather than the actual lettering so to resolve that first of all what we need to do is go to a different app like a, a background removal app I've got Affinity Photo which will do it but I can't do it straight from here what I will have to do is just come out of Affinity Designer so just now just turn that off get rid of that go on to Affinity Photo on this so Affinity Photo will do the job for me and then I can connect to Affinity Designer after from Affinity Photo. Right. As we close that off, open the actual image in Affinity Photo. And then once we've got in here, click on the actual thing we want. And then we need to get to the erase tools. You got the erase brush tool, background erase brush tool, and flood erase tool. Usually, I use the flood erase tool if it's one color because usually it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't, then you have to use the other tools if need be. But I usually use this one, and it's usually pretty good. Like that, that's pretty good, right? Then, if you wanted to, you could go straight to the outline tool on here and click on that and just go outline change the colour to what you want say white or near enough white colour like that and then add the radius on there and it'll go around the lettering or if you only want to use this for bordering and you want to go to affinity designer you can edit in affinity designer wait for it to load up and then it's loaded on there and then all you need to do is go to the effects outline then add it there and it's the same thing right either way once you put your border on you want to save it you can save it as different files by going export hold on one minute let's just uh, make sure I've selected all first always select all before you it make sure you've got the move tool on select all then file export you can either export it as a png a gif or psd and for each of these and an svg and each of these will have transparency as long as when you do that you've selected the actual file itself like this selected there Right. Once that's selected, if you do the export, always make sure you go down to selection only and then export it and then export it with the thing on like this. I'll show you export as untitled. I want to change that to something. Test. Let's just call it test for PNG. Then we get to the test PNG. Um, test PNGs up there and there you go right so that's how we 
that's how you do it you can adjust it by doing several things as well so say if you don't like the bit of the border bit off there what you can do is also go to new and standard standard preset for doing it there and now oh, actually I've done that one sorry let's just take that off let's start again with that new transparent standard preset for doodly orientation there okay right so now what we do is we get the this one edit cut and then go on to that one and then paste and then we can move it into the middle somewhere and you can adjust that radius even more if you want to or you can add a background to it say if you want to add a black background on there you could do like that turn it to black or a stock red black like that and then arrange move to the back and there you go right so you can do that or you can have a, a, a rounded one so you do like that so it's a rounded square or rectangle like that so you can do that and you can minimise that size and colour bit bring it down after wait a bit let's do that and bring it in a bit down a bit so it will show the actual border better with a different dark colour here yeah? ok like that so you can do that if you want to right? But that is how you can resolve the issue with the putting a border on and I hope it's useful to all of you and if it is please like and subscribe to Tony's Music and have a great day. Thank you.